All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry, I've been on like a three-week hiatus or whatever. There's been a lot of IRL um, schoolwork that I've had to do, so I'm slowly creeping back. And I've talked, uh, I'd consider, a fair amount about that vegan teacher, or should I say that bigoted teacher, because... She was banned from TikTok and everything, and, you know, she had a bunch of alt accounts, one of which was called That Holocaust Teacher. That's no joke. I'm serious. And just two days ago, and I'm very surprised that this hasn't been taken down on YouTube, she uploaded a very racist video. Now, I haven't seen this yet, and I just wanted to share my thoughts with how everything was, so let's take a look. Look at this beautiful child, beautiful eyes, beautiful smile, beautiful curly hair, beautiful skin. Look how adorable she is. What do you think about the idea of banning cruelty, but not words? Can you think of some words right now that are banned? What are they? What are some of the words that you're never allowed to write? And how did we get this way in society? Is banning words a good idea? When does it end? If we say we can't say the N word, but then people ban. Oh God, I, I'm gonna see where this is going. Even saying the N word, then the N word becomes the X N word. The N word that used to be the other n-word, and it never ends. It just goes on and on and on. What about other words? The f-word, the c-word, the r-word, the s-word. When does it end when we start banning language? Is it a good idea, really? Or is it better to just reclaim words that have hurt us? Just not let them have any power. Oh no, we're, uh, okay, um, yeah, we are getting into very dangerous territory because, yeah, she, she's, I know where she's going with this one. Does this girl seem to you like she might be naturally intelligent, gorgeous, generous, exemplary, and radiant? Holy shit. Okay, I am censoring the word. She used the N-word as an acronym to call this girl beautiful or whatever. Dude, this woman is fucking unhinged. I know I said this before in my one video that I made about her going at Scrubby, and I, you, you can see. She turned off the like to dislike ratio, I mean, obviously, because it was probably shit-bombed with dislikes, like it should be. Holy crap. Let's just finish this video. There's like 10 seconds, but I'm about to fucking go insane. It's like she could be that to me. I am at a loss for words. She said, looks like she lo seems like that to me. Basically calling her the N-word, but using it as an acronym for like replacing it with compliments in order to justify her call- Oh my god, dude. This bitch is actually human garbage. You know that saying, she belongs to the streets? She literally belongs in the streets, like a stray cat. I mean, she's just as emaciated as one anyway. I mean, seriously, she cares so much about animals. We might as well treat her like one. She doesn't deserve a house or anything like that. Oh my god, dude. I am at a loss. I, you know... I'm just gonna leave it here. I don't know if it's just me, but you, you can hear the bitterness at the end. The bitterness in her voice. Because she's banned from TikTok, and I'm pretty sure YouTube is the only platform that she's still posting on. I'm shocked that a video like this is left on here. I'm not for deplatforming or anything. I don't think she should be deplatformed, but a video like this needs to be taken down because it's just blatantly racist. Like... <laughs> There's no doubt about it, and if you're gonna argue otherwise, like, I'm sorry, this is, you know, 
it's racist. That vegan teacher is fun to clown on, but you know, she's taking it. I, I knew she t took it too far sometimes, but like this right here, this is just beyond disgusting. I don't even want to say be kind unlike Ellen DeGeneres anymore as like my little sign off saying, cause you know, <laughs> I'm covering a lot of negative topics and I'm going to shit on some people when I feel like I have the need to. So, you know, that's a little hypocritical of me. So, I mean, don't be racist like that vegan teacher or what I'm going to call her from now on that bigoted teacher. And I will see you guys whenever next. I'm out. Peace.